Sorry I kept you waiting Forever and a day But now we're out here together With nothing standing in our way Can you feel the attraction? much fun. I know, right? Thank you so much for dropping me off back at my house. Oh, of course. No problem. I had so much fun. Me too. Hope Maria Williams, where have you been? Mom, I told you I was going to the carnival with Josh. I know that, dearie, but you said you'd be back at 10 o'clock. It's 10 Elizabeth, Elizabeth, calm down, sweetie. Why don't you go sit down and I'll make you some, uh, uh how about a casserole? With tuna? Of course. <sighs> Sorry about that. Thank you for walking her home, Josh. Oh, of course, sir. It's no problem, really. Well, thanks for taking me. I had such a fun time with you tonight. Me too. Ahem. <clears throat> Dad! Bye, love you. Love you too. Are you gonna make my casserole? Or are you gonna make me sit here all day? Right, right, I'm on it. Um, okay. So, Mom. How was your day? Oh, it would be better if someone would finish my casserole! It's coming, it's coming! Here you are, darling. Thank you. Are these carrots? You know I can't eat carrots! Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot! Ugh. Never mind, I'm going upstairs. And while you're at it, start me a warm bath. Yes, dear. Oh. Hey, Dad? Yes? Deary. Is there something wrong with mom? She seems a little moody. Oh, it's probably the cold she's catching. It's made her a little cuckoo. Oh, is this something that Josh won for you at the carnival? Oh, this little thing? Yeah, I'm so happy I finally got to go to the town carnival with someone this year. And I'm happy for you. Now why don't you go head upstairs, honey? Okay, good night, daddy. Two more months. Two more months. Mom? Mom, is that you? 
Mom? Mom, are you all right? <sighs> I'm all right, dear. No, you're not. I have to go get dad. No, no, sweetie, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, dearie, I'm fine. Go back to, go back to sleep, dearie. I'll be all right. And so, you're sure it's not that time of the month, right? I'm positive. She wouldn't be so moody, even if she was on that time of the month. Okay, so what you're basically telling us is, your mom was really moody, she refused to eat certain foods, and she threw up in the toilet last night. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <gasps> Hope, do you know what this means? Your mom, she's expecting... A uh, baby. What? My mom? Expecting a baby? How could you guys just assume that? Are you crazy? No, no, my mom is not expecting a baby. She's not. Josh, go after her. Oh, uh, right. Hope, what's wrong? As a child, my parents always told me I would never be able to be a big sister because they wouldn't want to give birth to another baby who had cancer. Cancer has always ran in my family. My great-grandmother had lung cancer, and my great-great-great-grandfather had stomach cancer. So there's no possible way my mom could be pregnant with a baby. You never know, Hope. Things can change. After all, the whole cancer thing kind of skips a generation. I'm sure your parents probably got some sort of okay sign that they could have another baby. I don't think so. My mom doesn't even have a baby bump, so she can't be pregnant. She just... she can't be. Do you not want to be a big sister or something? Are you kidding me? I've always wanted to be a big sister, but I've been through cancer. It's not fun having all the doctor's appointments and hospital beds and needles in your life. I've gone through that. I don't want my little brother or sister to have to, too. Oh, Hope. You're so sweet and caring about others, but you have to realize, your parents probably got some permission from the doctors. I'm sure it's fine. Either way, my mom's not pregnant, and if she was, she would have told me about something like this. <sighs> oh, Hope. Right this way. Mason, nice seeing you here. What kind of hope news do you have for me today? Well, it turns out everyone thinks Hope's mom is pregnant. Pregnant? My dear. How do they know? They said she was having mood swings, she was craving certain foods, and she threw up in the toilet. Oh yeah, she's definitely pregnant. How excited is Hope? Actually, Miss Williams was experiencing some second thoughts. What? Why would she be experiencing second thoughts? I thought babies were a good thing. Me too. But she kept telling Josh she didn't want one. Well, well, looks like Hope made it too easy again. With her new bundle of joy running around, I'll finally be able to get out of this jail cell, and she'll be the one rotting in it. <laughs> Keep me updated. After all, Hope's birthday is coming up. What other information do you have? Yes, it seems Miss Williams' parents haven't told her about the said baby. Mason, you idiot! You had me over here getting my hopes up. She doesn't even know if the dang baby's coming. No, that's not good. <laughs> Keep me updated. And since Pope's birthday's coming up soon, try to... Get involved, if you know what I mean. 
I don't want this plan to fail this time. You got me? Yes, Miss Tiffany. I promised I'd get you out of there, and I will keep my promise. You better, or else you're gonna get it. We're done. Did you say something? Sorry, I was watching that little birdie over there this whole time. What? It was cute! Thank you so much for taking me out tonight. I really needed it. Oh, it was no problem. You know, it's just that you seem so stressed and... Hope? Is everything alright? I just don't hear or see my mom and dad. They're normally in the kitchen when I come home this late. Where are they? Well, they've got to be around here somewhere. Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad, where are you? Mr. and Mrs. Williams? Mr. and Mrs. Williams? Where are you? Mr. and Mrs. Williams? Dad? Mom? Mom? Dad? Where are you guys? Mom? Dad! Ugh. Don't worry, Hope. We'll find them. Mom? Mr. and Mrs. Williams? Dad? Are you in here? They've got to be up here, Hope. This is the only place we haven't checked. I know, I know, I know. But it's just not like them to be up here. Normally they'd be making dinner or something. I just don't- <gasps> What's wrong? Get back! Oh, I can't believe we're setting up this room again. It feels like just yesterday we were doing this for Hope. Oh, sweetie, I know. I just can't wait for her to find out. How much longer are we gonna keep this from her, sweetie? Not too much longer, my dear. After all, Hope's birthday is in two weeks. And that's when we plan to tell her. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. She's gonna be so surprised. I just don't know how much longer I can wait. I know how you feel. I'm desperate to tell her. But I know that when we do tell her, the time will be right. Oh. I can't believe they're gonna keep a secret like this from you. But at least they're gonna tell you on your birthday. Am I right, Hope? <laughs> Hope, wait! Did you hear something? It must have been Hope. She was probably back from her little dinner date. Oh, well, I better go down and say hi to her. <laughs> Hope. Hope, come on. Why are you so upset, Hope? They were trying to surprise you in a good way. By keeping it a secret? You don't just keep a secret about something that big. How is my mom even pregnant? She doesn't even look like she has a baby belly. How is this even possible right now? I can't breathe. <sighs> Josh, I can't breathe! Hope, you've just got to relax. I mean, come on. Wait a minute. Those are my mom's footprints. You gotta get out of here! Wait, how? I'm sorry about this in advance, babe. But I have to. Wait, what? No! Ah! Are you alright? Uh, uh. What was that for? I'm sorry. I have to. I don't want to get in trouble, alright? I'll make it up to you. You try to be a good boyfriend by taking your girlfriend out for dinner. And what do you get? Thrown out the window. <sighs> Oh, hi, sweetie. How was your date? Oh, um, it was good. Well, that's good to hear. How have you been feeling, Mom? Oh, so much better, sweetie. In fact, I'm actually going to the doctor's tomorrow to check it out. Oh, uh, that's great, Mom. I hope they find out what's been bugging you. Yeah, the past two weeks have been pretty rough. But I'm sure it'll all clear up soon. Now I'll stop bothering you so you can get some sleep. Good night, darling. Good night, Mom. Why, Mom? Why do you want to keep this a secret? And tell me on my birthday of all days?
I just don't understand why Hope's so down about it. Her parents obviously wanted to surprise her, so what's the big deal? Ugh, you just don't get it. Hope's obviously hurting. She really did want to know if her parents are expecting a baby. It's just like keeping a secret from you, Justin. There's no secret I don't know about. Do you know the Chipotle that's near your house is closing down? What? How could you keep that from me? Now do you see what I mean? Okay, okay, I get it. I just hope she doesn't overreact or anything when her parents do actually tell her. When my parents tell me what? Hope, um, yeah, um, uh, uh, coming. He was talking about it again, wasn't he? <sighs> At least Justin can make a joke out of it. But speaking of your birthday, Hope, aren't you excited? You're going to be 15. I know, I know. I just can't believe I might be getting a little brother or sister at age 15. Better late than never, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, what did I miss? We were just talking about Hope's birthday. Oh, fun. Hope, you're going to have another birthday party this year, right? Oh, um, Justin, I don't know. When was the last time you had a big birthday party, Hope? Oh, well, it's certainly been a while. Come on, Hope, have another one just like we did when we were little. After all, now you can invite real friends and not just some of the ones that we had at our daycare hospital. I guess that would be fun. Yay! This will be so exciting! We can all bring presents and go to Chipotle after! Wouldn't that be amazing, Hope? Oh, that would be so much fun. Mason, what are you doing here? Can't a guy go to the park and have a little stroll in the afternoon? Of course, it's just, I mean, well, what do you want from us, Mason? You obviously came here for a reason. Do I always have to want something? I mean, come on, guys. Well, you see, here's the deal. I couldn't help but overhear Hope's birthday party coming up soon. And... And I would like to go. Um... Well, well, Mason, that ain't happening anytime soon, so don't you even think about coming over here and- You can come, Mason. What? Thank you so much, Hope. I'll even bring a big present for you. But look, after you come to my birthday party, you have to promise to stop following us around. I don't really know what you're talking about, but whatever. See ya on your birthday, Hope. Hope, how could you just invite him like that? Are you stupid? Ugh. I'll go talk to her. Emily! Ugh. I'll go talk to her. At least I have you. Huh? I really need a girlfriend. Emily, wait. Em, why are you freaking out about this? Because, Johnny. He's my ex-boyfriend. How could she just invite him like that after all the things he's done? Because, Em, people deserve second chances. After all, Hope gave you a second chance, and look how you turned out. I know, I know. It's just... How can I believe that he'll change? Because... People do. And even though some of them might not be as amazing and sweet as you... <laughs> They'll still change. I guess I understand. Good. Hope, are you okay? I gave her a second chance. I gave her a way to prove herself that she was trustworthy. Why can't she do the same? It's her ex-boyfriend, babe. You gotta understand. She's going through a lot. No, I know. It's just... Can't she be somewhat more understanding? She will. After all, you gave her a second chance. So I'm sure she'll come around. <sighs> Thanks. Hey guys, I'm still over here, single, with no one to kiss and hug with. Truths, truths. Oh. <laughs> You want to go to the mall? Oh, I don't know. I- Oh, come on, Hope. Go have fun. You two really need it. Guys, I- Come on! No, wait! 
<sighs> so, now what do we do? We find Justin a girlfriend. Wait, what? Yeah, let's go to Chipotle and look for one. Besides, you're already there like 24-7. Might as well meet the love of your life there. I don't like where this is gonna go. Let's go! Ah! Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Williams. Oh, hello, doctor. How is the baby doing? Well, I'm glad to say your baby girl is doing great. Her heartbeat is normal. She's been kicking fine. You should be getting some contractions every once in a while, and her head is in the right position. Have you told your eldest yet? No, not yet. We want to surprise her on her birthday, which is coming up in two weeks. Aw, that is so sweet. Well, Mrs. Williams, we will be seeing you one more time for one last checkup before the baby is born. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. I told you we were going to find the perfect birthday outfit for you at Abercrombie & Fetch. I know, I know. I'm so glad you took me there. I've never been to this store. It's so much fun. See, aren't you glad I dragged you to the mall? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Alright, our next stop is hair. We've got to find the best hair accessory for you. Come on! Alright. But anyways, then I told him that his fashion sense was just really bad. I mean, you can't blame me for something that just looks so bad in you. After all, it wasn't like I was trying to make him feel bad. It was just because... Oh, hello, Mason. Whoa, what a funny coincidence to run into you girls. Coincidence? What are you doing here, Mason? I had to come to the mall to get some books for school. Plus, I had to go out and get Hope's perfect birthday gift. Have you done that yet, Emily? Um, well, no, but I- Wow, some friend you've got going on here, Hope. Whatever. I'll see you girls at the party, though. Bye bye Ugh, can you believe him? He's such a jerk showing up at the same time as us at the mall. Emily, calm down. He said he was just here for some books and to get me my birthday present. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a change of heart? change of heart my tail. Whatever. Let's just go. <sighs> hey, sweetie. Oh, hi, Mom. What's up? I just wanted to check in, see how your mall day went. Let me see the new clothes you bought. Oh, my God dog, sweetie. Is that from Abercrombie and Fetch? Yeah, Mom. Emily opened a whole new shopping world for me. Oh, sweetie, I'm so excited for you. You know, Mom, speaking of Emily, I was wondering, can I have a birthday party this year? <gasps> of course you can, sweetie. You haven't had a birthday party in such a long time. I've been waiting to hear those words. Um, okay... So, who would you invite? Well, I would invite Josh, of course, and Justin, and John, uh-huh, and of course, Emily. Oh yes, definitely. But I was also thinking of inviting someone else. Who? Mason. Mason? You mean that one boy who was on trial court with Tiffany? Yes, please don't be mad, Mom. I just thought maybe he would deserve a second chance. I mean, I gave Emily a second chance, and look how great of friends we are now. Um, I mean, I don't mind. The more, the merrier. Oh, by the way, how did your doctor's appointment go? Oh, it was fine. It just turns out I might have a little cold or something. Nothing to worry about. You'll be having a lot more to worry about soon. What? Nothing, nothing at all. Well, it's getting late, and I should let you get some sleep. Good night, baby. I'm so excited you're having a birthday party this year. It's gonna be a big hit, I know it will. 
and I'm happy that your um, stomach problems were just a cold. Me too. Good night. Oh, Miss Tiffany! Oh, it's you again. So, do you actually have some hope news that would help me get out of here? Or is it just some nonsense like before? No, I have some great news. I got invited to Hope's birthday party. And that's supposed to help us how? Don't you see, Tiffany? This is a huge thing. Apparently, Hope said that her parents would be telling her that they were having a baby on her birthday. So, if I go to her birthday, I'll be able to know for sure if her parents are having a baby or not. Mason, you've done it now. I, Tiffany Grace, will finally get out of here and Hope Williams will be the one to rot and die. <laughs> well, hypothetically. Once I find out if Hope's parents are actually having a baby, I'll come here and let you know immediately. Wow, Mason, I'm actually impressed. You actually found a way for my plan to work. Good job. Thank you, Miss Grace. I try, really I do. I promised that I would get you out of this jail and I don't break my promises. Well, I'm glad I can trust you. Now, you are dismissed. Go off and go plan for Hope's birthday party. Yes, Miss Grace. I will see you in two weeks to report back to you. And as for me, well, I'm gonna go throw myself a party too. A getting out of jail and throwing Hope under the dust party. <laughs> Finally, things are going my way. <laughs>